Hello everybody and welcome to my indie game spotlight for Snow. Now, Snow is an open world skiing game that is currently in early access on Steam. You can pick it up for $14.99 and that grants you access to the game as it's being developed. Now, keep in mind, this is pre-alpha. Again, pre-alpha, so it's not even in alpha yet. And that is basically meaning it is an unfinished game. This is kind of a highlight of the game. Um, it's on Steam right now, so I figured why not showcase it to the people who are curious about what it's all about. Uh, yeah, it's developed by a three-person company called Poppermost Productions, and they are based out of Sweden. And so far, I have really liked the game. It's really enjoyable, and if you are a fan of simulation-type action-based games, definitely keep an eye on this one. So, we are going to get into this. We'll probably do 10-20 minutes of gameplay. Not too much, but enough to get you an idea of what the game is about. Uh, the store system here, again, I, actually I didn't even mention this so I won't say again, but this game will be free to play when it comes out. I repeat, if you purchase early access, you are granted early access to the game, but it will be free to play when you go when it comes out. What that um, $14.99 will get you is exclusive content, I'm assuming that means like clothing and whatnot, that other people cannot get. So if you want to look fancy and uh, support the devs, definitely consider that $14.99. If not, you can always wait. And uh, next year, when this game comes out, it will be free for you to try. And I'm assuming with this uh, gear, there will be microtransactions where you can purchase gear. Okay, so let's get into this. There's actually 12 companies, real-world companies, that have already agreed to uh, put their clothing and equipment into this game. So you see you got Amarta, St Scott, um, a lot of companies I do not know as I am not a skier or a snowboarder of any word of the sort. But um, I'm sure if you are a fan, uh, we got Red Bull, so obviously, and just a whole bunch of different things. So already a lot of big companies supporting this game, which is a really good sign because a lot of companies will not put their uh, logo on games that have been crappy made. Um, so we got equipment, poles, skis, and uh, before I forget, this will not just be a skiing game. They are implementing snowboarding as well, so if you are a fan of snowboarding, that will be coming as well. Uh, so we, let's just change a few things here. I'll show you around. So you got different types of gloves, and actually, if you click these, again, the UI isn't totally done, but um, if you click these, you can see there's different colors for each of the gloves as well. So you can kind of coordinate what color you want. I like red, so let's get a red suit going on here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Some red goggles. Oh, a top hat. Yes, there we go. Um, you can get lots of different hats there. Beanies, caps. Um, helmets, anything you want. And then we got, of course, different jackets, sweaters or jackets, whatever you want to call them. Um, is there any, like, Armada? That sounds like a good company. I have no idea. So we'll just... I don't know. I kind of like this one. This one's kind of fancy looking. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm, I, I'm being picky now. I'm looking at everything. Alright, I, I like that. We'll do that. We'll do a blue and red combo. Why not? Then we got different types of face masks. Ooh, a monocle. Oh, I can't even see it with my with my goggles, but I'm I'm wearing it anyways. And then we got, of course, boots. Only three pairs of boots, which is surprising. I think boots are kind of a big part of skiing, so maybe they'll they'll be implementing those later. And then, of course, pants. So different types of uh, fancy snowboarding pants and equipment. Now, different types of bindings. So only two currently, but I'm sure more will be implemented. And ski poles. And then probably a whole, yes, a whole whack of skis, is which I really assume. Wow, there's a lot. Now, I don't know if they give you different stats or if they're different lengths in this game. I don't think that's implemented yet, but I'm sure later on in the game, certain skis will be better than others at speed or, you know, rotations or whatever have you. We'll do that one. That one looks good to me. I think I look beautiful. Um, no sense of color coordination at all, but hey, that is... Uh, Generally how I roll. Alright, so we're going to click alone now, and we will go to the mountain called... S oh god, I can't even say this. Sayla? Salia? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with Salia, but um, that's probably wrong. But that is a mountain created by the devs. It's uh, eight kilometers squared of open world terrain that you can explore. So it's just a mountain created by them. It's not a real mountain. It's not based off any mountain that I believe. But 
it is open world and you can explore everything. So this is the spawn uh, map. Basically, you got these arrows and you can choose where to spawn. Different spawns have different types of skiing. I don't know the names for them, but I'm assuming a lot of you do. There's like half pipe zones and trick zones and then obviously real world mountain zones. I don't know what they're called. Salam, whatever you want to say. But I know I don't haven't I haven't actually seen the Salam course yet, but I haven't looked at everything. So let's start at the top of the mountain, get some uh, rocky face skiing i guess i'll call it that with my knowledge of skiing that's really all i can say and this is uh what the game is all about it's uh meant to be totally realistic trying to not be like uh sean white snowboarding or the tony hawks of the action sports worlds where you can do 900s with ease this is meant to be you know realistic and i killed myself because that was a big fall okay so we're going to continue right from there. So you can either, and again, this is open world, so you can either start from the top and try and get a good run or be like me and not really care and keep going. Um, you can push, you can do everything. The, the controls in this game are actually really cool. Um, basically, it's really, really well constructed. You got WASD, which turns your body, and then you got grabs, which you use with the arrows. But, oh god, I got to slow down. This is going way too quick for me. Uh, let's slow down. Okay. So, but it gets more complex than that. You can do a simple turn, or you can do like a really hard turn by holding A and S. So if I hold A and S, I'll do a really hard turn. And if I hold, uh, if I just hold A, it does kind of a soft turn. So you can really like carve the snow as you would in real life. And you can obviously push with the uh, W key. And there's a whole bunch of grabs, which I haven't really figured out how to do. But I know it has to do with the arrows. Maybe we can get one off this or something um, not working yet oh I think I did one at the end there so different uh, arrow combinations give you different grabs um, real-world tricks that aren't really crazy I don't think but very fun to do and as you can see this is just like an open world eight kilometer mountain that you can explore find different lines that you want to do and have some fun I'm going really way too quick for my comfort zone here because it is very hard to land in this game i find but again this is the realistic aspect it's going to be hard to land in real life too right so we are going down it looks like just an open mountain right now there's not much going on and that's good i like that oh god now it's coming in it's com it's oh god i'm screwed okay so we are gonna go to uh we'll go to end se no i don't want to end session hold on how do i go back to the choosing alone maybe i gotta O open it again? I guess I gotta open it again. I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming there's a way to go back. Again, the UI in this game isn't as well implemented as I would like to show you guys, but hey, it's pre-alpha. It's gonna get better, and with over time, I'm sure it'll be great. Now, I have done this one. This is kind of like a trick course. Kind of more my style, more action-packed. Uh, you got grind rails, you got half pipes. I haven't actually been able to grind because I'm kind of retarded when it comes to these games but there, there's actually a way to bunny hop too and i don't remember how now that i think about it but you can do all that oh safety grab okay i, I, I did a grab there I, was, I wanted to grind it but hey i'll i'll take a safety grab any day of the week because i can't seem to figure out how to do those all the time all right we'll go off this big one hey maybe we can do a backflip or something or just hit the rail because I didn't do a bunny hop. I gotta figure out how to do a bunny hop. Hold on. Okay, so I have figured out how to ollie. I guess it's not called a bunny hop. It's called an ollie. I would assume it's more like a bunny hop than an ollie. But whatever. I guess they call it an ollie in skiing. But basically, you just hold the up, the down arrow, and then press the up arrow. And you do a little bunny hop. Or ollie, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's... Uh really going to be crucial when it comes to uh technical parts like this where you just got to get over and oh, oh rail Ra okay okay i just hit a wall no no big deal no no big deal just keep going and pretend that didn't happen oh look at this big rail over here if i can hit this that would be great um i don't know if i need to go sideways or what i have no idea how grinding works and oh oh my god oh come on keep going okay um yeah that's uh that, that, that's just how you do it, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, come on. There we go. He has good balance, that's for sure. <laughs> but at least you know grinding works to a degree. That's uh, very cool. And that, that would be a very hard rail to grind, I would assume. So I, I'm going to... Oh, whoa. I, <laughs> there's a little drop there. Oh, big, big air. I want to go to the big air. I'm going to push and then 
hold down and hopefully I get enough speed to do something. Okay. Oh, I, I, did, a, I did a cork. So I, I guess a corkscrew type cork thing. So that's that's good, right? I, I don't know. I don't know what's considered good in skiing, but I'm assuming a cork would be all right. Um, so yeah, that is kind of a technical part. Now, how do I go back? So I had to like fall to get to the restart screen, I guess. And as you can see at the bottom, there's actually a score uh, thing too. So if you want to play with your friends and have different runs, I'm just trying to fall here. No, I guess we're not falling. Again, open world aspect, so we just keep wandering. But I think this is at the bottom of the mountain anyway, so we're kind of screwed. But I am just going to go back and reload in, I guess, because there is no restart. Okay, so we are back at the loading screen. I'm going to try... Hmm. What should I try? I don't know. I kind of want to try this one because it looks kind of rocky here. I'm not sure if that's an accurate representation of the mountain, but I'm assuming it's quite accurate. So we are going to go here, I guess. And see what this one's all about. It looks like it's just going to be another downhill spot that you can choose and go at a different route. Actually, it's a lot more hilly here, so I'm assuming this might be a little more technical, actually. I was assuming the top one would be the hardest, but... Hey, that's cool, too. Oh, ooh, I almost fell. All right. It's hard to tell with all the white when you're off the ground or when you're in the air, and I'm not doing a good job at avoiding things. I don't know how I avoided that, but hey, I'll take it. I need help when it comes to uh, not falling, especially going down this mountain. This is pretty crazy, pretty fast. We're just going to avoid these, try to... Try, try to carve out a nice a nice line, I guess you would call it. I don't know. Um, well, it looks like we're actually back at the uh, trees where I killed myself before. So if I can get through here, that would be that would be wonderful. Looks like I got a I got a much better route now, at least. So, and there are things load. I don't know if it's because I don't have the best PC, but there are things loading really close to me. So I'm kind of having to judge. Oh, man. Okay. Well, that, that was a good run, though. That felt good. That felt like I had a good line going on. And I, I, I like that spot a lot more than the top spot. Now, we're going to try this one. We're going to try every one here, see what other things it has to offer. Wow, is this a cave of some sort? Cool. Or just a, a rock face that I can go under. But Ooh, we, we got ice here. That's going to be... I don't think we can churn too much. Oh, God, we cannot churn too much at all. But wow, it, it, it gives you a little bit of everything when it comes to skiing, I guess, which is really, really nice. We got some really technical rocks here that we got to avoid. But I am getting the hang of it now. I'm not doing as bad at all as the, the uh, first run that you guys saw me, actually. So at least I'm... Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, my God, I did it. I did it. Okay. Backflip time. I'm getting, I'm getting cocky now. I'm doing good. Oh, crap. Okay. So backflips... I still, I still don't know how black, blah, back flips down, but hey, at least I, I want to do that one again. That was fun. Oh, I don't want to continue. I want to reset. Oh no. Okay, I guess I'll have to fall again, so I can reset at the uh, top, or we can just wander and see what else is down here. Again, I really like the open world aspect. Um, a, a lot of action-based games have little trails that you can really understand that they're basically made for you. Oh, okay, so we're going uphill. Wow, I, th I thought I would just keep going down backwards, but uh, I guess the physics still need a little bit of work in this game because I once I landed backwards, it kind of boosted all my energy back up the hill. So that, that, was, that was pretty funny, though. It's, it's, it's kind of fun uh, playing these early alpha games because you get to experience things like that, and then once you see the end product, you really see what they fixed. And wow, if, that, if I could have landed through that and went down again, that would have been fun. I really, really like this game. I'm not a huge fan of skiing or snowboarding or any sort of uh, snow activity, but when it comes to games like this, it's really, really fun. Um, so we're going to restart, and I think we did that one. I want to do it again. I don't, I don't care if it's going to be a long video. This is fun. I, I really enjoy this game, and I think you guys will too if you get a chance to try it. Definitely, if you're a fan of uh, any sort of action sports games or... Skiing, I guess. Uh, definitely check it out, because it's, it's going to be free to play, so you don't have to worry about spending too much money. But if you want to spend a lot of money, by all means, definitely support the devs. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So, not not as good as last time, but hey, we're trying. Uh, as long as we... Oh, there, there, I did a grab. How nice. And, and a 360. And I want to do backflipping. Oh, I, I, I braked. I, I didn't... I did it too quick. Uh, I basically braked instead of uh, leaning backwards. But that's okay. 
we uh, landed at least in. Oh, man. Okay. So we are going to restart here, and we are going to go down to... So we've done that one, done that one, done that one. So we'll just, we'll just go to the left here and do the last two. Now, oh, wow. That's, that, that's, that's like a dam. Wow, that is really cool. Okay, so... It uh, looks like we just have an open ski resort. Or, not ski resort, but a downhill course. So... But we're going really quick. I think this is the fastest we've went. Oh my god, what the hell? Slow down! Slow... Okay, I... That broke a little bit because I was not turning. Or maybe I just needed to slow down. I don't know. But we are gonna restart that and try it again because that was crazy and I want to see it again. I would love to be able to go onto that lake and, like, jump down the dam or something. Or at least, like... It looks like you could actually get on the end of the dam there. Maybe I can. I'm, I'm gonna try and do that. And then fall all the way down the dam. That would be really, really fun. And I would really like to try that without killing myself, so... We're gonna head down there. Oh, yeah, we are definitely gonna be able to do this, I think. Oh, my God. This... Oh, God, maybe not. There's a lip. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, God damn it. I really wanted to do that. Um, we're gonna try one more, and then we are gonna... Oh, God damn it. I did it wrong again. I'm, I am stuck in a wall now. I'm um, just skiing over the dam, no big deal. Alright, we're gonna have to uh, go back to alone and load back in. Really need to add a restart button to uh, that without... Do maybe if I hit tab, because I know tab shows the scores. So maybe if I do that, um, I'll be able to restart without reloading in the whole map. But it doesn't take too long to load, so it's no big deal. I'm gonna try again. I don't care if I said I'd only do one more time. Oh, yes, there we go. So, if you press tab, just, just so you know, you can uh, load in without closing out the game again. Again, I'm learning as I go, so I'm sorry if the production quality isn't, you know, up to par with what you're used to, but... I like to learn as I go. It's kind of fun. And we are doing... It looks like if you hold down, you don't fly everywhere, so... Or if you do the whole pose... Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I screwed up there at the end. Oh no! Oh screw it! I'm I, I'm trying one more time. I don't, I don't care what I said. I'm trying once more. All right. I really want to do this jump. <laughs> That's what happens when I start playing games like this. You, you you get something that you want to do and you're not happy until you do it. And even if I don't hear do it here, I'll probably uh, be playing it tonight and trying to complete what I start started now. But let's hope that we can get it on camera right now. So I'm going to hold off now, and hopefully I don't kill myself. And then... Oh, come on! Ah! No! It was so close. Okay. So we're going to go to the next spot. I'm not going to bore you guys with my failings over and over again. And I think this is like the half-pipe spot that I've seen. Yeah. So it looks like you can either, either do this quarter pipe, or is, this, is that a full half-pipe? I don't know. We'll head down there and see. But I, but I like that they added this because this is good for doing uh, different types of grab tricks and all that good jazz that I'm sure more pe Oh, wow. Okay, so I, I landed... The last time I did it, I landed perfectly back on. So I'm assuming that's not as easy as I thought it would be to do. But we are going to restart and try that again. And it looks like I'm holding my camera as I spawn. <laughs> but hey, again, early alpha or pre-alpha actually. So things like that are going to happen. Okay, let's see if I can do something here. Land one trick for my viewers, please. Oh, uh, just a 360. Oh, okay, we, we are not doing it right now. I'm going to just continue here and see what... I guess this isn't a half pipe. It's more like a... I don't even know what that is. Oh, my God. I fell right down. Okay. There we go. I don't know. I don't know if this part's, like, done yet, but I, I'm ass I, I was hoping, like, it would be a long half... Like, I know they have with snowboarding in X Games... They have that long half-pipe course, and that would be really fun to do in this game. So, I hope they add that, but yeah, guys, this is uh, Snow, and if you want more uh, information about it, the links will be down below, and you can pick it up on Steam, again, $14.99. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.